G'day folks. Today we'll be updating this Acer Iconia W4 tablet to Windows 10. Uh, this is still running Windows 8.1. And for this video I'll be using the official Windows update method. Uh, you can see this tablet is already running Get Windows 10 app, which this one was not. I upgraded this tablet using a Windows 10 ISO. Click here if you want to see that video. You can also update your Windows using a Windows 10 ISO uh, by downloading it from Microsoft website if you don't want to use Windows Update. But in this video I'll show you how to do that using Windows Update, the official method. So let's go ahead and open Windows Update. So you can see here Windows Update icon and it's already showing that upgrade to Windows 10 so we're just gonna click get started so, uh, you, if you don't see this tap on check for updates and if it still doesn't show, show upgrade to Windows 10 you can use the ISO method in the other video so let's get started here and now it's gonna download the Windows 10 installation files and uh, and all you gotta do is just sit back and relax while it downloads it depends on your internet connection so you can see it's a clearly a much smaller download. This is a 2 gigabyte download as opposed to we were downloading 6 gigabyte on the other tablet. So yeah, let's just wait it out until it's done and I'll be right back. Alright, so it's now preparing to install Windows 10. The files have been downloaded. Now I must tell you that you should plug in your tablet into the wall charger because uh, this process takes around 2-3 to three hours so make sure you have a lot of time on your hands and make sure you have plugged your tablet in into the charger. So now again still it's preparing for installation. Um, I think I'll fast forward this video. Alright, so once it's finished um, preparing for installation, you'll see this window. Uh, make sure you read this. The terms of use. So then click accept and let it prepare for the upgrade. So yeah, now it's asking to restart. Uh, you can start the upgrade now or you can schedule it for later. But we're going to start the upgrade now. So let's restart. And please make sure you take a backup of all your important files and folders on your computer because it might get lost, it might not, there's no guarantee. So it's always better to take a backup before you upgrade to Windows 10. So right now it's con configuring updates for Windows 10. 0% complete. Don't turn off your computer. We're going to let this run.
Alright, so the installation is complete and I'm going to tap on the username. Next. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not going to use the Express setting. I'm going to click Customize. And I'm going to turn these off because this sends data back to Microsoft and we don't want that to happen. No, I don't need to send information. I'll probably end up using Windows Media Player for all my media files and uh, Google Chrome for web browsing, but Microsoft Edge is actually good. I'll select that later. Alright, so we're done. Wait for it to boot. And there we go. So currently this thing is running in tablet mode, so take it out of tablet mode. Just now swipe in from the right hand side and tap on this icon, tablet mode. And we're back to Windows desktop. Let me just turn rotation lock off and make it landscape again. So yeah guys, Windows 10 is running on Acer Iconia W4, let's check it once. You can see Windows is currently activated, Windows is activated and we are running Windows 10 professional version. So thank you guys for watching and before I go let me just show you how much space is left on C drive. And don't worry, initially it's going to be slow and as you continue using it, it'll become alright. So you can see around 3.4 gigabytes of storage space is left on C drive, but you can clean it later. Uh, you can delete the Windows installation files later on. Uh, if you don't want to go to go back to Windows 8.1, because currently you can go back to Windows 8.1. Let me show you. If you head over to Recovery tab, uh, you still have this option to get back to Windows 8.1. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more tech videos like these.